Welcome back. I'm excited to introduce our next guest. Karen England is a lovely person. I know you're going to love her as much as I do. She has an amazing story of a deep passion and a love story and a reinvention, and I'm gonna let her tell you all about it. Karen has the Edge Hill Herb Farm in Vista, California, and I hope by the end of this uh, segment, you'll all want to run there and sample some of Karen's specialties. Karen, welcome and thank you for coming thank in. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Oh, we're very excited. So when you and I met, it was at a party in, in mm -hmm. Salt Lake. You yeah. were not from there. I was not from there. Yeah. <laughs> right. So we kind of found each other as the yeah. two outsiders. But you had prepared these beautiful bottles of gift liqueurs for the guests and also an amazing spread of food to go with the beautiful drinks that you had created. So we started chatting about yes. that and then you started telling me a little bit of your story. So you're an herb expert. Yeah. yeah and I, a farmer of sorts. I am. I, I am. I love herbs. I grow them. I use them. I'm a champion of herbs. I want everybody to use them. Even if you don't grow them, I want you to, to use them. But I'm not an herbalist, okay. and I just want to make that clear because herbalists are people who study for a long period of time and they can uh, prescribe uh, for ailments. You don't want me to prescribe anything for anybody. <laughs> That's good to no. know. What yeah, I yeah. actually do, I want you to be able to prescribe which are the edible herbs yeah, and well, which okay. ones I should use I'm in my food. Yes, and, I'm, yeah, I'm so more really. than capable of doing that. Uh, long ago, people would call me an herbalist and I would shy away from that because uh, I didn't want to step on toes of people sure. I knew that were that way. Mm -hmm. But a friend of mine coined the term, she called me an herbologist. Okay. And I don't think there is anything except for maybe me because she made it up. But you're the, the original let, herbologist. Let's I call me that. that thing I for think it's yeah, sure. yeah, I'm an herbologist. And that definitely goes hand in hand with you growing a blog presence and an online yes. presence yeah. and sharing yeah. things like the drink of the month yeah. and all the things <laughs> yeah. that you're doing. But take us a step back. How did this all get started? You used to make soaps I, and I creams. did. Edge Hill Herb Farm actually. It, it, I live on a street in Vista, California called Edge Hill. Wow. And my husband and I, uh, uh, 18 years ago now, 19 years ago, wanted uh, a home-based business. So we were shopping, to, we were renting in Carlsbad by the beach and we wanted an agricultural zoned place outside of the city. So I'm in the county of San Diego okay. and the attraction was the two acres zoned agricultural with a little house on it and a couple outbuildings. Well, the, the two acres agricultural are steep, two acres, so I'm a mountain goat gardener. <laughs> it's not, it, you can afford it when it's steep agricultural, but when it's flat, it's more expensive. I bet. So anyway, mm -hmm. we, we found this place and, and the idea was I was going to grow herbs and make soaps. And when my husband retired in the future, um, he was going to make garden art out of found junk in his work. So anyway, we had this grand scheme. Um, that was going along great until 2013 when my husband took ill mm. and um, he ended up passing away in uh, 2014. And I still have two acres and all the herbs and everything, but I didn't really have this home-based business anymore that had kind of gone, oh, uh, the, when my husband died, that kind of died too, which was sad and I didn't want it to be a sad mm -hmm. story like that. I really wanted to somehow turn it around. I love that. And mm -hmm. all of the herbs that go in soap, at least that were growing in my soap, also were going in my cocktails. <laughs> <laughs> and um, with the help of friends and family who wanted me to also rebuild and and restructure and re you know, change things up. Um, we took my little soap shop my husband had built me and we turned it into a private pub for my neighbors and family and friends. It sounds like the perfect evolution. <laughs> and now, we now I'm planting more and more herbs in that garden because I'm, there's cocktail herbs that weren't going in soap. So I'm planting citrus, exotic citrus oh, that fine. yuzu I've planted and oh. bergamot. And anyway, it's, it's very fun. It's brought back for me an excitement. I've met 
wonderful people who my friends have brought to the pubs to meet me and I can serve them things. So what I brought to Utah was the, my Christmas presents I had made for my family and friends. I had made um, a margarita liqueur out of some leftover tequila. I Is there such eat, a thing as leftover yeah, yeah. tequila? <laughs> In Amy doesn't case, drink, but I don't mind saying case, so. <laughs> in this case, I was surprised that there was that we had bought too much for a party, okay. and um, so I had a little leftover tequila. So I turned it into a mar margarita liqueur, and th I also had some leftover bourbon uh, from an event, and so I turned that into a mint julep liqueur. And then I gave that at Christmas and did it all. And wow. they were divine. I can imagine. So I had them left over, and it was a January party, mm. and I thought, oh, I could give them to people. I didn't know who was coming. I didn't know that I was going to meet you or anything. Mm -hmm. So I brought them, and they were a big hit, which was fun. They How were totally fun. a hit. Oh, that's amazing. I mean, so, since I don't drink, I don't know. But when, when you made the mocktails the mm -hmm. other day, and we put the fresh herbs in them, they mm -hmm. just, oh, they were Wonderful. Yeah. Well, it and, really perks and, it up. And mm -hmm. I am um, able many times to serve people who don't drink mm -hmm. because I can do uh, the, the, like a lemonade base mm -hmm. or a tea, or tea base. Which yes. is what we're yeah. going to do in I our know, cooking I segment. I cannot yes. wait. Yes. I'm so you excited. You can have all of that. I'm yep. pretty sure. Well, yeah, <laughs> she absolutely can. And that was how that came up because I said, oh my gosh, we have to have you on the show. And Amy and I need to come and visit the pub and, and what are what is Amy gonna drink because I know I'll be I'm fine. sure there's plenty <laughs> and, that was, and that was where she started talking about where Karen started sharing oh, about the wonderful. herbs and the teas and the other things that she's building oh. but the passion the whole story oh, about and the love story mm -hmm. with you and your husband and carrying on this something beautiful after I've his actually, passing actually the, the most amazing thing for me in all of this has been that I've actually been able to introduce my husband he's been passed away a few years mm -hmm. now to people where they feel like they get they've gotten to know him mm -hmm. and 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 they that I mean, what a surprise what yeah. a joy I mean yeah. he's I'm we don't have any children I'm an only child mm -hmm. and so I, I feel this kind of burden to carry on mm -hmm. for him yeah and how would I do that I mm -hmm. never would have thought that this would be the way I would do it but, but it's, what a gift. it's wow what a wonderful legacy that's yes. so yes. great and yes a great tribute and you do have a blog so I do let's have a talk blog. about the blog because you've reinvented yourself <laughs> in a couple of ways I have I um I tried to have a website that I did myself mm -hmm. when I was selling soap. So uh, this is, we're talking 15 years mm -hmm. ago, this is early days for me in internet everything. Mm -hmm. But I tried to teach myself how to make a website and everything and, and I, so I was making the soap, I was labeling the soap, I was packaging the soap, I was shipping the soap, I was marketing the soap, wow. I was doing the whole thing. Yeah. And I wasn't doing very well. <laughs> <laughs> That's an honest assessment, right? Yes. Because which, which is the tr truth yeah. with many, 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 many people today, but also especially 15 years yeah. ago. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And so it, unless you mm. knew my name was mm -hmm. Edge Hill Herb Farm and that the soap you liked of mine was called, you know, R Rosemary Remembrance, and you put that in Google 15 years ago, you would find my soap. But if you just knew my name was Karen England and then I sold Rosemary Soap, a person named Karen Rosemary England would come up in a uh -huh. Google search. Um, or, you know, somebody else's rosemary soap would come up. So it, I, it was hard. It was hard. Mm -hmm. I got a blog for free from my website people mm -hmm. uh, trying to appease me because I wasn't doing very well. Mm -hmm. And so I, I was blogging now and it mm -hmm. was fun, but it wasn't doing anything for me. So I, I just kind of in, intermittently, att you know, attended to that. and. And now you have 18,000 <laughs> followers. It's unbelievable. That it's is so yeah. impressive. It's, it's that's so, amazing. It's, it, yeah, that, that's on my Instagram. But my Instagram is driving all those sure. people to my blog. And my blog now is a lifestyle blog. I've been told by my, I have a coach now. Mm -hmm. And my coach, who has introduced me to you, mm -hmm. that's how we met. Um, my coach says that I have a lifestyle blog, which was a huge surprise to me. <laughs> <laughs> I blogged about the fact that I didn't know it was a lifestyle blog, and now I'm 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 working really hard, uh, uh, diligently every day, to 
turn that thing that was languishing right. into something vibrant and I'm telling my grief story, mm -hmm. I'm telling yes. my garden story, mm -hmm. I'm telling my love story, I'm mm -hmm. telling my uh, kitchen story, it's all beautiful. of those. Mm -hmm. So what is the blog? How can people find you? Uh, it's a WordPress blog mm -hmm. and WordPress allows you to have a dot blog not dot com. Okay. So it's edgehillherbfarm.blog. Edgehillherbfarm.blog okay. and we'll have that on the screen Super. for our viewers. Super. So they'll be able to find you there. Yes. And we're gonna step out now and we're gonna go to a commercial break and when we come back we're gonna cook with Karen England. It's cooking time. <laughs> so stay with us. We'll be right back.